Okay, so we have this calculus problem we have to do, and it, it involves sketching a graph. And what we're going to do is use the domain, symmetry, intercepts, asymptotes, relative extrema, and any points of inflection. And we also have to identify the open intervals in which the function is increasing or decreasing, and it's also its concavity. So first, let's start out with what the function is. We have f of x equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 8. And we know for a polynomial like this, its domain is going to be all reals. So we have the domain going from negative, in, negative infinity to infinity. So there's no issues here, you know, because it's not a rational function. So first things first, let's begin with the symmetry. For x-axis symmetry, I plug in a negative for y, and we see if anything happens if we return to the original function. Obviously, we can see right off the bat, this is not going to work. So now we can try for the y-axis symmetry and put a negative x for all the x's, and we'll see that we're not going to get back to our original function, so it also does not have y-axis symmetry. Now let's try for the uh, origin symmetry. We'll put in a negative y, and then we'll have a negative x. Uh, we'll get something close to it. You can do it out yourself, and you'll, you know, you might get something very close, but it's not going to work at all. So no symmetry for for this function. So what we want to do now is find the intercepts. Here I'm starting with the y-intercept. I plug in 0 for x, and what results is y equals negative 8. So at 0, negative 8, we have a y-intercept. Now I want to find any x-intercepts. So for this function, I'll you know do some quick grouping, and what results is x squared minus 4 times x plus 2, and set that equal to 0 and we'll get x equals plus or minus 2 because you'll just bring that 4 over, you'll get a uh, square root of 4, which is plus or minus 2, and this is just going to give us the same thing. So that's the first part, and now we're going to jump into the second part for this function, uh, sketching it. It's a long problem, bear with me, it's going to be a little tedious. Okay, so we're back to the problem now. Uh, we want to look at if there's any um, asymptotes. Being that it's a polynomial like this, it doesn't have any asymptotes. If it was a rational function, it'd probably be a different story. So now what I want to do is find where it, this function is increasing and decreasing. So what we need to do is first get the derivative of this. So taking the derivative, we get f prime of x equals 3x squared plus 4x minus 4. Doing some quick factoring, we can get this to be 3x minus 2, and then times x plus 2. I'll set this equal to 0, and I'll get some, some points on, on the graph here. So I have negative 2, and then 2 thirds. So now I want to find out where it's increasing and, increasing and de decreasing. So what I'll do is I'll section everything off and see what's happening from negative infinity to negative 2. I'll use negative 3, which I'll plug into the uh, derivative of this f of x function. So I'll put a negative, negative 3 in for x, and what results is a uh, negative times a negative, which will be positive, so we get it a positive number, so it's greater than 0. Thus, it's increasing from negative infinity to negative 2. Now I want to see what's happening from negative 2 to th 2 thirds. So I'll, I'll, use, I'll keep it simple, I'll, I'll use 0. Put 0 here, we get, we get um, a negative 2 times a positive 2, and what results is a negative uh, number, so it's decreasing from negative 2 to 2 thirds. Now to see what's happening from 2 thirds to infinity, I'll use uh, 2. We plug in 2 for x, we're going to get a positive number, and then we're going to get a, another positive number. So it'll be increasing increasing from two-thirds to infinity, um, as shown by the arrows. So what we can acknowledge now is that we have a relative max 
at, neg at x equals negative 2, and we have a relative minimum at x equals 2 thirds. And in the next part, we'll do some more with this and we'll get the exact, po exact points for this. Okay, we're back again. So, as we found out in the last part, we know that it's increasing from negative infinity to negative 2, and then from 2 thirds to infinity. And it's decreasing from negative 2 thirds to 2, uh, or negative 2, sorry, to 2 thirds. <clears throat> so now what we have to do is we have to find um, the second derivative so we can find uh, the concavity, where the concavity is on this graph and how, how it uh, functions. So we have f prime of x equals 3x squared plus 4x minus 4. Take the second derivative, we get uh, 6x plus 4. I set that equal to 0 and we end up with x equals negative 2 thirds. And we have this graph here that I'm going to find the concavity. So we know from um, negative infinity to negative 2 thirds, if I put negative 1, which will be on this other side, uh, I'll have a, a number that is less than 0. So I know that it's going to be concave down. And you can, you can check these by putting them into uh, the second derivative here, and you'll see you'll get a negative num number. Now I want to see what's going on on this side from negative two-thirds to infinity. So I'll just use, I'll keep it simple, use a zero, and I plug in zero, I'll get a positive number, so I know it's uh, concave up because it's greater than zero. So here we go, it's concave up. And being that we have concave down here and uh, concave up here, uh, I know I have a point of inflection at negative two-thirds. So at x equals negative two-thirds, there's a point of inflection. So what I'll do is I'll take my original function and I'll plug in negative two-thirds for x. So then we'll have negative two-thirds cubed plus two uh, times negative two-thirds squared minus 4 times negative 2 thirds minus 8. So what we end up with is with negative 8 over 27 plus 8 ninths uh, plus 8, uh, 8 thirds minus 8. So do some algebra. Uh, what results is negative 128 over 27. So at negative 2 thirds and then the negative 128 over 27, we have that point of inflection. And now that we got all this done, we'll be able to actually sketch the graph and you'll be done with this long, long problem. As I said before, it's pretty tedious. Okay, so we finally have all the information we need for the function of f of x equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 8. So we know there's no symmetry and we know the no domain is from negative infinity to infinity because it's a polynomial. We know there's no asymptotes. We know we have an x-intercept at negative 2, 0 and 2, 0. We also have a y-intercept at 0, uh, negative 8. And we know it's increasing, increasing from negative infinity to negative 2 and then from 2 thirds to infinity. We know it's decreasing from negative 2 to 2 thirds. We know we have a relative max at negative 2, 0. And we also know we have a relative uh, min at 2 thirds and then negative 256 over 27. And we know we, it's going, uh, going to have a concavity uh, that's down at, from negative infinity to negative 2 thirds and it's going to be concave up from negative two-thirds to infinity. And we also have a point of inflection at x equals negative, negative two-thirds, which is uh, the point negative two-thirds uh, and then negative 128 over 27. And now I can finally show you the graph. So here we have the graph for this function. And I'll, I'll run through everything that's happening here so it can match up with yours. So from negative infinity 
to negative 2, we are increasing with it being concave down. Then we see from negative 2 to negative 2 thirds, it's concave down again and it's decreasing. And then from this point here to this point down here, it's concave up and still decreasing. And you notice here we have a point of inflection because we're going from concave down to, con to concave up. And we pass through our uh, y-intercept here. And you see that from this point here to 2, we now are increasing and we are concave up still. And we go from here to a, a positive infinity you see it's concave up and increasing and we have our relative min here at this point and over here is our relative max and we have our uh, x-intercepts at negative 2 here and at 2 and that pretty much sets us up for the graph and it should match up with yours.